Hey, again, my name is Marvin Tyler with Marta. On behalf of Dr. Bubba Scott, our general manager and CEO, we are definitely in the process of reaching out to different communities within our service area. I have with me today Joyce Brown. She with the, the Office of Diversity and Equal Opportunity. And we've met a number of you prior to this point, and we'd like to continue this relationship. Uh, the name Marta, of course, was created back in 1965 by the Georgia General Assembly. That's when legislation was originally adopted by the General Assembly in Georgia. And when you think back in 1965 and where we are today, some 50 years later, and you think about the framework, the infrastructure of Marta, Marta was intended to serve Fulton County, the Cap County, City of Atlanta, Cobb, Gwinnett, and Clayton County. And the reason why it's significant to talk today to you about transit is because we reached a milestone during the last General Assembly with HB 277. That was legislation that was adopted to provide for consideration in 12 districts of Georgia of, of referendum come August of next year, August 2012, to ask residents, property owners, whether or not we would tax ourselves to make an investment in transportation and transit. And the reason why that's critical when we think about the name MARTA is because since 1965, we've only had the gasoline tax. And to ask another trivia question, how many knows what the gasoline tax that we pay for every day when we buy petrol, what it can be used for? Does anyone know? I'm well, road road construction. construction. Road construction and bridges, bridges, but not transit. MARTA being the ninth largest transit company in the United States, we're the only one that does not receive operating revenues from the state government. When you have systems such as BART in San Francisco, New York, um, you have Chicago, RTA, and of course Pennsylvania and WAMPTA in DC, they receive substantial operating revenues towards the day-to-day -day service <coughs> delivery in those communities. And one reason why that's critical when it comes to businesses such as yours, time is money. And in order to have goods and services moving very efficiently within a world market, transit has to be very key to that. And as we've grown over the years since 1965, and think about the landmark decision in 65 when we were a, we were a small Atlanta. Now we're a very large Atlanta. Atlanta is more than 20 counties. Now this district that we're in now is going to vote come August of 2012. We make 10 counties for voting purposes. So we're out to say to residents, property owners, entrepreneurs, we'd like for you to become more knowledgeable about this issue. Because unless we can move Atlanta forward, when we compare ourselves with Charlotte, who is now the banking leader in the Southeast, Jacksonville, Houston, Fort Worth, and other cities in the United States. We have the busiest airport in the world, and we have only one rail car system that goes into Hartsville, Jackson International Airport. We're about to open an international terminal there. We're all familiar with that. We need to invest in transit. The gas tax can only be spent on highways and bridges, not transit. So we need to open up this communications so we can learn from each other in terms of how we can promote investment in transit. Joyce is here to have consideration for the diverse the equal opportunity connection to this community. We want to make sure in meeting with Charlene Fang, John Lee, we, we, we've been talking about how we can develop partnerships. Um, there is a consideration for a line between Doraville Station and Jimmy Carter uh, they have there at Gwinnett Village a CID, a Community Improvement District. Some of you all may be familiar with that. And one of their key priorities is to have a, a light rail system to connect to Doraville out going in that vicinity. I understand from my conversation that the interest is how do we explain to you what's taking place in this particular corridor. That's the main aspect of what's taking place today. But the key is funding. Unless we have support in the grassroots community, the Linux community, entrepreneur community, for knowledge base, understanding the implications of this, because if we missed the mark come August 2012, we might not have another opportunity, because this is the first time we've had the opportunity to vote since 1965. So if we want to maintain a viable marketplace here for doing business, lending practices in this corridor in the Atlanta region, we are asking that you participate with us I have some documentation here that I'll pass out to you that gives you basic facts about MARTA as well as information on Concept 3. Concept 3 is a vision for the region when it comes to transit. And it's dealing with working together. We're here to 
offer an invitation to work with you, working together, and it's connectivity. We need to connect the region together. We have so much congestion in these corridors now, and it's not efficient to do business. We have to change. Uh, one thing that some of us may know that have been in Atlanta for a long time, one reason why we don't have a grid pattern of transit, Atlanta has a tremendous system of watersheds, and the watersheds are simply creek basins. So we have so many creek basins that buses have to traverse along the edges of creek lines and not on a grid like, say, a checkerboard. When you go to Chicago, L.A., they have like very efficient transit movement in each direction, very predictable when a bus is going to come. Atlanta is not quite that way because of the topography of how we have developed. But we still have to accept the challenge. And again, we're here to invite you to work with us as partners to move ahead with this uh, consideration. We have put out information to Charlene uh, in different languages, um, Chinese, Korean. We have public hearings coming up next week. In DeKalb County, it's going to be Thursday evening at 6 p.m. We're dealing with one restoration of the Atlanta Bray Shell and there's some other connectivity uh, restorations that are taking place because we cut routes back in, in September of last year. So we'd like for you to, to be conscious, knowledgeable of these issues, to work with us, and we'll continue to work with you. Thank you.